Hello and welcome to Yoga Flow with Monica. I am Monica and today we have a first class of our chakra series. We're starting with Muladhara chakra or root chakra which is located at the base of your spine and this is the first chakra uh, in uh, seven chakras which we will be going through. The color of chakra is red, that's why I'm wearing red and using red yoga mat for today. Uh, as well, just giving you a little bit uh, information about this chakra. This chakra uh, is connected to your survival and safety feeling. Uh, so if you feel a little bit unsafe and you don't really know why, because you have house, you have family around you, you know, you have a job, but you still feel a little bit anxious about finding that kind of safety within you, it might be that this chakra is imbalanced. Um, so this class will go through the main postures which relates to this chakra. So it's lots of standing postures because we're trying to ground uh, within ourselves to the floor and feel that safe feeling, you know, while we're standing on the floor. Um, so yeah, uh, another thing, the element for this chakra is earth. So that's why it's connected to the grounding as well. And mantra is LAM, L-A-M. So you can use this mantra while you're practicing. If you notice that concentrating on your breath is not enough, you can just slowly repeat LAM, LAM, and continue repeating this in your mind if you feel like you're getting distracted. Okay, so we're gonna start in seated position where you are. Uh, try to sit in cross-legged position. We're not gonna stay here long. We're gonna do this uh, activating breathing. So what we're gonna do, we inhale and we're gonna reach up as well as lifting our he knees up, okay? When we exhale, we're gonna bring the fist and remove uh, arms and legs down, okay? We're gonna do this 10 times, uh, medium, uh, pace so it's not too fast not too slow okay you can close your eyes for this if you want exhale everything and we're gonna start inhale up exhale down through the nose inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down five more up exhale up exhale three more Inhale, exhale, two more, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, and relax for a second. Inhale, exhale. Then we're gonna switch the legs. So bring another leg in front. We're gonna repeat this one more time, 10 times, okay? Inhaling, exhaling everything. And once you're ready, start inhaling, lifting the arms and knees up. Exhale, down. Nine, up, exhale, down. Eight, up, exhale, down. Seven, exhale. Six, up, exhale. Five more, exhale, four more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, down. Two more, inhale, exhale, and one more. In inhale, exhale, wonderful, relax. Observe how you feel. And then release your left palm next to your body, reaching the right arm up and over, coming into very gentle side stretch. You can even look up if it feels okay. Inhale, exhaling, continue breathing through the nose if it's not blocked. Then come back to the center. And we're gonna start walking forward, very slowly walking forward with our palms, relaxing the head down as well, just for a second. You should feel uh, one of your glutes stretch. That should be the glute, uh, the side of the glute uh, of your leg. So whichever leg is in front of you, that's the glute you might feel some stretch in, okay? One more breath here. And gently come back to seated position. We're gonna switch the legs one more time. Now release the right palm next to your body. Start reaching the left arm up and over. Gentle side bend. Looking up if it feels okay on your neck. Continue breathing. Couple more here. One more. Come back to the center. 
and we're gonna walk forward again. So slowly walking forward, relaxing the head, observing how you feel. Inhale, exhale, two more here. One more. Gently start walking back up and bring your heels together. Sorry, your soles of the feet together. Open the knees wide, come into butterfly position. Inhaling, exhaling, and you can start just slowly moving legs, your knees up and down, not too much. Don't make it very hard movement, just up and down gently, okay? We're still warming up, so it's important to be gentle to your body. Inhale, exhale, one more here. Wonderful. We're gonna start extending the legs in front of us. So just extend the legs in front of you. Maybe move the legs a little bit. And then we're gonna bend the knees very gently. We're gonna glue our belly to our thighs and we're gonna flex the toes and ankles towards us and grab the feet. So our outer edges of the feet with our palms, okay? And look in front. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna slowly start moving the legs forward but without losing that connection belly to thigh, okay? So we move slowly. We extend the legs a little bit, check in that the belly is still really touching thighs, okay? So it's not like you're trying to touch it. It actually feels comfortable, okay? Then you can go a little bit further. If you still can touch belly to thighs, wonderful. Maybe you can go a little bit further. But if you go further and you start feeling that, you know, there is no connection belly to thighs, then gently back off a little bit, okay? And stay here. So as you can see, I'm not extending my legs fully. I'm still warming up. Uh, some of you which are very flexible or maybe you have, um, you know, it's called double jointed, jointed sometimes, hyper flexible, you might be able to extend all the way out, okay? But make sure you're gentle to your body, don't overdo it, we're still warming up. Inhale, and exhale, one more breath. Then gently start walking back out, shifting the hips a little bit down, and releasing down to the floor, just for a second, bringing the knees into your chest, okay? Looking up, observing how you feel. Inhale, exhale, again, trying to glue the legs to your belly. Wonderful. Then we're gonna slowly start coming into standing position. So you have two options. You can roll to the side, pick up yourself up, and then come into standing at the top of the mat, or you can roll up to standing position while grabbing the back of your thighs and just rolling a couple, couple times up and down when you find the right time and you come into standing position at the top of the mat. So option one or two, whatever feels good for you, okay? With the next inhale, once you're at the top of the mat, bring the arms up, with an exhale, fold forward, and down, release the palms or fingertips to the floor, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna lift halfway up three times and then fold into standing forward fold again, okay? So when you're ready, inhaling, lifting up, trying to bring the spine and neck in line as well as parallel to the floor. Exhaling, slowly releasing down. Twice more. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale down. With the next inhale, we're gonna slowly start lifting up. Vertebra per vertebra, so don't rush, okay? Slowly, slowly lift up. Come into mountain pose, I'm gonna turn to you. So bring the arms next to your body, quite active. Palms facing forward. Bring the legs more or less hip distance apart. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna close the eyes and we're gonna repeat one uh, affirmation for this practice. It's I am safe. So you can repeat out loud or just listen to my voice or repeat it in your mind. We're gonna close the eyes. So really active body, even if it seems such a simple pose, okay, mountain pose. And what we're gonna start doing, we're gonna start lifting the toes up 
and then moving the weight into your toes and lifting the heels up maybe a little bit, then coming back. Then see, maybe you, you shift your weight towards left leg and then towards the right leg and come back to the center and repeat, lifting the toes up, close your eyes if you can, then slowly releasing toes to the floor, lifting the heels up and repeat, I am safe. Move side to side. Lifting the toes, then releasing toes to the ground, lifting the heels. I am safe. So remember, you are safe where you are. Just try to enjoy this little playful movement. Couple more times. From side to side or forward and backwards. And repeat after me if you wish. I am safe safe. So just gentle grounding, come back, open the eyes, relax for a second. Inhale, exhale. With the next inhale, we're going to reach the arms up. With an exhale, dive forward, releasing the fingertips to the floor, relaxing the head for a second. Then inhale, halfway lift. Bring the left fingertips just underneath your nose and start lifting the right arm up. What we're gonna do here, we're actually gonna bend into the left knee. So I'm gonna come from the side. We're gonna bend into the left knee and we keep the right leg relatively straight, okay? But don't overstretch it, so the knee soft. Looking towards that right hand or looking towards the right side, whatever feels comfortable. Continue breathing. One more. Then gently look down to the floor and switch. Releasing the right palm now underneath your nose. Gently bending into the right knee while the left leg stays relatively straight. And reach up through the left arm towards the ceiling, okay? Gentle twist. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful, look down, release both fingertips to the floor and relax the head down. You can even grab opposite elbows if you want and just swing from side to side, making sure that you completely relax your back. Inhale, exhale, one more. Then release the elbows if you had them in your palms and start lifting up gently without no rush the head comes back last okay lift up maybe roll shoulders up back and down observe how you feel and we're gonna go into three pose so slowly start shifting the weight into the left leg okay since it's really like related to grounding so make sure you really ground into that left leg and the left hip is not sticking out slowly start opening the right knee to the side and you can keep your big toe on the floor or bring the feet over the calf or in your growing just make sure you don't bring it over the knee okay and I have affirmation for here as well. So just come in your pose, whatever you choose. Bring palms together and relax. Relax shoulders. Find non-moving spot on the floor or in front of you on the wall. And you can repeat after me if you wish. I am rooted and feel at home. Okay? I am rooted and feel at home. Continue breathing. <laughs> Don't worry if you fall, just slowly come back, okay? That will help you to make sure that you stay in the pose longer. So the slower you come back, the longer you will stay. I am rooted and feel at home. Continue breathing. And for the next three breaths, if you wish, you can reach the arms up towards the ceiling, okay? I am rooted and feel at home. One more breath. Gently releasing the palms in front of the heart and relaxing that right leg down. You can move a little bit the left and switch to another side. So first shifting the weight into the right leg, making sure it's strong and rooted into the floor. And then opening the left 
knee to the left side and repeating the same option what you did on the other side. So if it was, if the big toe was on the floor, it's perfect. If it was over the calf, it's great. If you bring it all the way in, it's great as well. So just choose what works for you and then bring the palms together in front of the heart and continue breathing. So three deep inhales and exhales here. Again, if you wish, you can repeat affirmation for this root chakra. I am rooted and I feel at home. So really believe, if you're repeating after me, really believe in these words, okay? Start lifting arms up for three more breaths. Shoulders relaxed, facial muscles relaxed. Inhale, exhale, and remember, I am rooted and feel at home. Wonderful. We're gonna slowly release it down, release your leg down, maybe shake the legs a little bit and relax here for a second in Samastiti. Inhale, exhale, observe how you feel. Come back to the top of the mat if you're not there yet. With the next inhale, reach the arms up. With an exhale, slowly fold forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, bringing spine and neck in line. Exhale, releasing fingertips to the floor and stepping the left leg to the back of the mat as far as you can. We're coming into high lunge. So slowly lift up, reach arms up as well. Find your stand. Make sure that that front knee, the bend knee, tracking middle toes and back leg is straight and strong, okay? Looking in front, inhale and exhale one more. Then we're gonna start straightening the front leg and bringing the back leg a little bit closer as well as releasing the heel down. So both heels down, both legs are straight, kind of like a pyramid pose, okay? And we slowly reach forward with our arms. So coming kind of our torso and arms come parallel to the floor, reaching forward. One more breath here. And then gently release the fingertips to the floor or if you have blocks, you can always use blocks as well, okay? Inhale, exhale, shift that right hip back a little bit while left hip comes a little bit forward. That will neutralize your hips and you might feel a little bit more stretch. Inhale, exhale, one more. Then release the palms to the floor, bend into the front leg and bring both legs to the back of the mat, plank pose. For the first one, we're gonna release the knees down and stay just here, just for one breath. Start bending into the elbows, slowly releasing down to the floor and tucking the toes, rolling shoulders away from the ears and lifting up into mini cobra, shoulders away from ears, legs are active. Exhaling down, tucking the toes, pushing away and lifting the glutes up into first downward dog. Inhale, exhale. For the first one, we're gonna re repeat that kind of belly to thighs connection. So we're gonna bend really into the elbows and we're gonna try bring the belly towards the thighs, okay? They won't touch in this case, but we try and really open up the chest and shoulder area a little bit more. Then looking to the front of the mat and stepping the left leg in between the palms. Slowly find a comfortable high lunge position. So really grounding through that front leg, the front knees bend, back leg is straight and active, and then reach up, arms up, shoulders relaxed, lower spine is not over arched. Looking in front, inhale and exhale. One more here. Then we slowly start extending the front leg, shifting the back leg a little bit closer, coming into that nice uh, kind of pyramid pose and reaching forward again. Reach forward with your fingertips and torso comes in line almost with the arms. One more breath here. And then release 
arms to the floor. You can even fold a little bit deeper, this time shifting the left hip back a little bit while your right hip comes forward. Inhale, exhale, one more. Then look up a little bit and bring back leg to meet the front. Forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, down. With the next inhale, reach arms up and overhead, palms together in front of the heart, Samasthiti. Observing how we feel, inhale and exhale. One more. Wonderful. With the next inhale, we're gonna reach arms up again. Exhaling slowly, folding forward and down. Don't rush, relax the head down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms to the floor. We're stepping both legs to the back of the mat. Stay in the plank pose, inhaling and exhaling. With the next inhale, start releasing the elbows, bending into the elbows, releasing the body down, untucking the toes and lifting maybe into tiny higher cobra. Exhaling down, tucking the toes, pushing away from the mat and lifting up into downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale one more. This time we're trying to straighten the legs a little bit more and pushing into the heels. So pushing the heels into the floor. It doesn't have to touch, but we're working towards it, okay? One more breath. And then look to the front of the mat and step the right leg in between the palms. Again, slowly lifting into the high lunge first. So lift up, high lunge, making sure the lower spine not overarching, back leg is straight, front leg is strong, knees tracking middle toes, release shoulders, look in front. Inhale, exhale. With the next inhale, we're gonna lean forward, keeping the knee bent this time. So you can stay here, just working in on this position, working on the strength, or you can lift up and actually lift that back leg away from the floor. So coming into warrior three. With the arms in front, I don't have here enough space, but the arms in front, back leg is strong and straight. Inhale and exhale, one more. And then slowly start releasing that back leg to the floor, releasing the palms to the floor and bringing front leg to the back, shifting up straight into downward dog. Inhaling, exhaling everything. One more, legs hip distance apart, palms, arms, shoulder distance apart. Looking to the front and stepping the left leg in between the palms. Again, finding that ground and pos position. So really finding a comfortable pose. Now you know what's waiting for you. So prepare mentally for warrior free if you wish. Or as I mentioned, you can simply work on that leaning forward and keeping and engaging both legs as much as you can, okay? So whatever feels the best for you. Inhale. Exhale. And slowly lean forward and your choice. You can stay here or lift up that back leg. Arms in front of you, straight. Back leg is strong. Inhale and exhale, looking down. One more breath. And then gently releasing that back leg to the floor, releasing palms to the floor and bringing front leg to the back. Downward dog, inhale. Exhale, release knees to the floor, bring big toes together. You can open the knees a little bit and relax your glutes towards your heels. Relax the head to the floor, coming into child's pose. Inhaling, exhaling. Two more here. One more. Slowly lifting back up into all fours. And this time we're gonna just gently release ourselves to the floor. So relax to the floor. 
and lift yourself up on forearms. So the elbows underneath the shoulders. We're coming into Sphinx pose, activating those legs, maybe even kneecaps lift, pushing into toenails. So pushing the toenails into the floor, looking in front and trying to bring the shoulder blades together. Inhale, exhale. Check in how it feels on your lower spine, your lumbar spine. If that feels okay, you can lift, you can lift up into a seal pose. So you're lifting your elbows and forearms away from the floor and pushing into the palms, opening up into the seal pose. Inhale and exhale. Legs are active. One more. Then gently release it down. Bring palms next to your body. Tuck the toes. Push away from the floor. Lift back up into downward dog. Inhaling, exhaling, lifting the tailbone as high as you can and then slowly grounding down through your heels. Continue breathing. One more breath here. Looking to the front of the mat and walking or stepping both feet in between the palms. Inhale, halfway lift, spine and neck in line. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, lifting the arms up and above the head, palms together, releasing in front, Samastiti. Relaxing here for a second. With the next inhale, we're gonna step the left leg as wide as we can and we're gonna come into warrior two. So coming into warrior two, another wonderful pose for grounding. We're gonna use another affirmation in this poses. So it's the one, um, I love being in my body. Again, you can repeat after me or just listen to my voice or maybe repeat that in your mind. Gazing through the right fingertips, Right knee is bent, tracking the middle toes, okay, so it's not falling in. Back leg is super straight and active. Inhale, exhale, observe how your body works in this pose. And remember the affirmation, I love being in my body. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Then start extending the front leg and switching to another side. So back leg bends, back foot comes parallel to the shortage of the mat and coming into warrior two on the left side. This time gazing through the left fingertips, left knee striking middle toes, not falling in. Back leg is straight and active. Push into that outer edge of your feet. Inhale, exhale. I love being in my body. Two more breaths here. One more. Then slowly start extending the front leg as well and bringing both toes to look forward or maybe even into each other a little bit. Bring the palms over your hips, puff the chest and slowly start folding forward and down, releasing the head towards the floor. Observing how you're feeling. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Now engage abdominals. We're going to lift halfway up. And again, as before, we're going to bring the arms in line with our ears and bringing torso parallel to the floor. Engaged inner thighs. That will help you to stay stable as well as abdominal muscles. Inhaling and exhaling, reaching forward. One more breath. Then bring the arms to your hips, engage abdominals and inner thighs and lift up. This time we're gonna bring the toes facing outwards. So heel, uh, heels facing inwards. The legs, basically your knees tracking the middle toes again. And we're gonna come into goddess pose. So very slowly start bending into the knees, making sure that they track your toes. Bring the arms in front of you and relax it here. Okay, well it's hard to relax, it's a tough pose. Very powerful pose. One thing to keep in mind, I'm just gonna come to the side. So many people do this 
this is almost malasana, but we are coming yogi squat, but we are coming into goddess pose. So it means that your tailbone is facing down. It's not sticking out, it's facing down, okay? And go as low as it allows you to have spine straight. If you feel that you're going low and you start sticking the bum out, just come back up, bring the bum in, and then stay in your goddess pose. Inhale and exhale. Two more, making sure the knees facing out, they're not falling in. Inhale and exhale. One more. Then slowly extend the legs, bring them together, heel toe, heel toe. And relax for a second here in Samastiti pose. You can even close your eyes again and maybe move forward and backwards or side to side. Just checking out how you feel in your body. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful. Then we all gonna release the arms and come back to the front of the mat. We're gonna come into chair pose. We're gonna stay there for five breaths. Remember, you can have your legs together or a little bit separated, whatever feels the best. Start bending into the knees, bringing the arms in line with the ears. Not sticking again, bum out. The tailbone is facing down. Belly is in, lower spine is neutral. Inhale and exhale. Three more here. Inhale and exhale. See, maybe you can go a little bit lower. Inhale and exhale. One more. And then start extending the legs and folding forward. Relaxing the head down. Maybe shaking the head from side to side. Or like saying yes. Then inhale. Halfway lift, exhale, release fingertips to the floor, open the legs as wide as the mat, and this time we're gonna go into Malasana. So the toes are facing outwards again. We're bending into the knees, but knees tracking middle toes. So again, knees are opening up as well, and slowly releasing down to the floor. See how low you can go with the straight spine? You can be a bit higher or you can release all the way down and then bring the palms together in front of the heart and help to open knees a little bit more, okay? But if you're a bit higher, it's totally fine as well. Just stay there, but make sure that the knees are facing outwards, okay? Inhale, exhale. Two more here. Start relaxing, sinking into the floor. Feel how gravity helps you to come into this pose a little bit deeper. One more. And then start bringing your arms behind and sit on your glutes, okay? So just sit down. Observe how you feel. Inhale, exhale, then extend the legs Again, we're gonna come into forward fold, but this time classical one. So we're not gonna try uh, with the bent knees, though if you feel that your spine rounds, you might be, you might benefit from actually bending the knees, okay? So see how it feels. So very slowly reach arms up, find that straight line, and we're gonna go through uh, over three steps, okay? So first reaching up, then going forward, then reaching forward a little bit and going down a little bit. Then last time reaching forward and once you can't reach it anymore, just release the palms wherever they go. So you might won't touch the toes and it's totally fine. Or you might touch your ankles, which is great. Maybe you just touching the shins. Whatever you're doing is good. Remember, yoga is not about coming into the perfect position, but it's coming into position which works the best for you, okay? Which is perfect for you. Inhale, exhale, relax the head down. Let this back stretch a little bit as well. Just remember, no pulling. One more deep inhale and exhale.
and then slowly lift back up bend into the knees shift your glutes down a little bit and release to the floor relax your back to the floor keep your knees bent inhale and exhale bring the knees quite close to your glutes arms palms facing down engaging the legs and we're going to come into five bridge poses and then the fifth one we're going to keep it up for five breaths okay so when you're ready engage your arms forearms palms push into the elbows into your heels and start lifting your glutes up as high as you can and then with an exhale we're going to slowly release it down four more up inhaling slow movements don't rush exhale down Three more, inhale up, exhale, slowly down the knees, staying in line with your hips, okay, they're not spreading out, two more, inhale up, push into those heels, exhale down, and remember now we're going to lift up and we're going to stay here for five, okay, so inhaling up, five, four, Three, lift a bit higher, two, and one. And we're gonna start slow, release it down first, upper spine, middle spine, then lower spine, and the glutes come back last. Okay, relax for a second. And once you're ready, bring the knees into your chest. You can even hug them if you want. Observe how you feel. Inhale, exhale, one more. Wonderful. We're gonna lift the legs up towards the ceiling now, as well as the arms. And we're gonna shake them. Just shake the arms and legs, completely relax. Don't think what other people would think if they would see you doing this, just really enjoy it. Release all the tension which is left in your body. Move anywhere you want. You can even close your eyes. And then hug the knees again into your chest. Maybe even lift your head towards the knees. Observe how you feel. Feel safe. Feel in control. Feel that your body is there for you. And then slowly release it down and guide your knees towards the left side. So slowly guiding the knees towards the left side, trying to keep the chest facing up. So the opposite shoulder, so the right shoulder, will be still touching the ground, okay? You can look towards the ceiling or opposite way from the knees, whatever feels the best. Arms as well, you can keep them anywhere you want. Inhale. Exhale, couple more, continue relaxing. As I mentioned, you can always use the mantra, LAM, L-A-M. If these relaxation poses are a little bit challenging for you and you feel that the thoughts are already creeping up into your head, so you can just concentrate on your breath, or on repetition of mantra. With the next inhale, engage abdominals slightly, bring the knees to the center, and then guide them towards the right side. Maybe even shift the hips a little bit towards the left and release the legs towards the right. Remember, chest is trying to face up, the opposite shoulder, left shoulder touching the ground, and you leave your arms anywhere you want. Open them into a T, or just keep them close to your body. Relax there. Observe how you feel after this practice. Check in with your emotional side. Do you feel a little bit more grounded? You can always repeat one of the mantras if any of them really resonated with you. One more breath. 
And again, engage, abdominal spring, the knees back to the center. Hug them, bring the nose towards your knees. Just come into tiny ball before releasing and relaxing into Shavasana. So start extending the legs, bringing them as wide as the mat, bringing palms to face towards the ceiling. Move and fidget as much as you wish, or maybe you would like to grab a blanket and actually put it over your body so the heat stays within you in Shavasana. And just start releasing, relaxing, letting your body sink into the floor, feeling how everything has become heavier, how everything is relaxed. Continue breathing through the nose, but come back to completely natural breathing. So don't try too hard to take those deep inhales and full exhales as you've done during the practice. Just relax. And try to keep your mind relaxed as well. You can always use one of the affirmations. I am safe. I love being in my body. I'm rooted and I feel home. So you can use any of them and repeat them one after another. Or use the mantra, Lam. Just continue repeating, Lam, Lam. Maybe that will help you to concentrate and relax a little bit better in this pose. Before leaving you for a minute or so in silence, I have this beautiful quote for today's practice for root chakra. I thought it resonated beautifully. It's from Chin Nat Han. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. So it's walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. I'm gonna leave you here for a minute or so. Just relax, let your body sink into the ground. Continue breathing through the nose. And try to relax your mind as well. Maybe you feel great where you are, feel free to stay there. Just pause the video and stay in Shavasana as long as your body and mind requires. For others, just start taking deeper inhales and exhales. You can even inhale through the nose and exhale out loud through the mouth. Start moving your fingers, toes, maybe even the head from side to side, like saying no. Without no rush, bring the legs together, maybe arms above the head if you would like to take full body stretch, but remember you don't have to. This is just me guiding you and helping you to wake up your body but you know better what your body requires. So take any movements you need before bending into your knees and falling towards the right side if possible. Pausing for a second, being grateful, remembering the affirmations. I am safe. I love 
being in my body. I'm rooted and I feel home. And when you're ready, we're gonna slowly lift back up into seated position. Any seated position. Inhale, exhale, then gently and slowly, when you're ready, bring the palms in front of the heart and we're gonna seal this practice. Namaste. Wonderful. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Chakra series are one of my favorite series to teach and to practice. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, just drop them below the video. I will feel, I will feel really happy to answer them. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just do it today. There is more videos coming as well as those other six classes for chakra series. And I wish you a wonderful day or evening and hope to see you soon on my channel. Bye.